Hello and welcome to episode 13 of my Rise, Rising World tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on making a tanning rack and a hunting knife. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because it's a natural progression on from uh, when I was killing the animals you'll notice I was getting hides. So I thought why not show you what the hides can be useful for and in the next episode we'll use what we actually make from this episode and this episode of course we'll be turning them hides into leather so let's build ourselves a tanning rack first of all now in order to do that we have to go to the workbench uh, so activate that go to the drop down arrow crafting stations and we're looking for the tanning rack so select that okay we need 16 lumber so we can make lumber from the workbench and let's craft what I've got so I can make what's the max uh, 20 uh, 108 I can craft so let's do that okay so now that I've got that 108 lumber click drop down arrow crafting stations and there you go we can now select the tanning rack and it's going to need 16 lumber so we'll create that okay next we want to make ourselves a hunting knife so we're going to need to use the anvil but if we look in tools we can see hunting knife so we need a stick and a hunting knife blade so we're going to need some iron and where did I put the iron Ah, there's the iron and actually was there a stick in there uh, oh look I've got loads of lumber I'll grab another stack uh, what's this oh there we go sticks okay so let's go back to the anvil and now I need to make component and hunting knife blade I need one iron rod so we'll go to resources iron rod need an iron plate select an iron plate select an iron rod go back to components hunting knife blade Now go back to the workbench, tools, and there we go, hunting knife. So one hunting knife blade, one stick. Craft that. Okay, so you use a hunting knife with the hides on the tanning rack. So what we're going to do, let's place down the tanning rack. And let's place it here. Near the chests. Okay, so we got a tanning rack, so how do we use it? Well, we need some hides, so let's grab some hides. We'll come over to the tanning rack now. And you see, with it on your toolbar, go hover the cursor over the tanning rack, and it will put, and then just right click, and it puts it on there for you. Next, you need to equip your hunting knife so get the hunting knife we'll put it there because I won't be doing any fighting in this episode okay select the hunting knife right click on the hide or is it left click? oh left click left click on the hide and you see it changes colour see that? and it's turning it into leather how cool see and once it's done you get the hand icon that you can see and then just press the F key and there we are we got two leather so let's do some more oh so it's on number four oops what did I do there oh I didn't place it
Oh, also, by the way, <clears throat> before I forget, so let's grab that. I want to say a big thank you, huge thank you to Still Cooking for leaving a comment mentioning about the fact that apples heal you. Um, I have found that cherries heal you as well. So let's give you a demonstration. You see in the bottom left, my health bar is still down. So if I eat an apple, watch it go up. Now, let's demonstrate if I eat a cherry, watch it go up. Notice it doesn't go up as much as eating an apple. So let's eat another apple. And you see you get a good heal from apples. For cherries, not so great, but it does still heal you, as you can see. Okay, let's sleep. So thank you Still Cooking for that comment that helpful comment. Thank you to all of you that make comments. Okay, let's go do some more tanning. Notice I'm have to walk around this side of it, so this is the front. Of course I can pick it up and turn it around the other way, which I think I'll do. Remember, keep the F, F for Foxtrot key pressed, and then you can pick it up. Okay, so let's go back in my pocket. Let's see if I can pull it round the right way. So if you do the num lock keys, six or four, you can swivel it around. And you want it to be facing towards you like that. So you need to turn it around. Okay, let's put another hide on there. Let's just do all these hides. So we've got plenty of leather for when I want to demonstrate that. You'll notice all the different hides just turn into leather. Graphically, this game is very beautiful. Especially the fact that you can see what the changes that you're doing, as in turning the hides into leather. Let's see how much leather have we got so I've now got 10 leather that's plenty of leather to demonstrate what I want to sh one of the uses I want to show that's currently in the game for leather so there we are okay what did I want to mention about the crops oh yeah I wanted to just show you the watermelon so if I now if I use my sickle it will only harvest two seeds so with watermelons what the idea is you keep harvesting them with the sickle until you've got about I don't know 20 of them planted and then you just instead of harvest once you've got 20 planted and they mature then you can pick start picking them notice you don't get any seeds you only get a watermelon so you'd pick them until you've got about 10 left and then you just keep doing the seeds till you got back up to 20 and then back to 10. What do you do with the watermelon? Well, if you put it on your hot bar like so, then switch to that slot, right click on it, and what it, what it will do is cut it up. You see, so you cut the watermelons into pieces and if I show you, for each watermelon you'll get eight pieces of watermelon which is another good food to eat. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's all I wanted to cover in this episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.